वेलकम क्लास फाइव इन योर साइंस क्लास वी आर डूइंग अमेजिंग अमेजिंग एनिमल्स एंड ऑर्गन्स फॉर द ब्रीदिंग वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड व्हाट आर द ब्रीदिंग ऑर्गन्स अमीबा पैरामीशियम दे आर द सिंगल सेल्ड एनिमल्स एंड दे डू देयर रेस्परेशन थ्रू द बॉडी सरफेस व्हाट अबाउट द इंसेक्ट्स दे हैव द स्पेशल स्पेरेकल्स एंड दे हैव Uh, channel of the tubes or the, uh, these tubes are called breathing tubes so these all we have uh, discussed as well as the aquatic animals have gills to breathe and uh, animals like amphibians who live in the water as well as on the land they are having two type of uh, respiratory system one is their breathing in the water that is uh, moist skin as well as they have lungs to get oxygen from the air Uh, and what about the mammals so the mammals uh, like us we all uh, respire through our uh, respiratory organ that is <coughs> lungs and even the aquatic mammals like the shark whale and dolphin they also breathe from their lungs so this is the uh, breathing uh, this is uh, this all about the breathing system of uh, different kind of animals now we will uh, talk about the movements so the first one is animal move from one place to another why they move from one place to another for searching food for uh, getting their pair shelter and also to escape from their enemies sometimes when they feel danger in somewhere that time they just move from that place to another place so uh, the land animals the land animals mostly move with the help of their legs most animal have four legs isn't it and uh, these Um, these legs are uh, they are called the four limbs and the lower limbs which uh, which we use like a uh, leg those limbs are called the hind limbs so generally mammals have the four limbs but all mammals use their all four limbs to, for the movement except the human beings human beings are using their two four limbs for holding the things for doing the work as well as their hind limbs for moving from one place to another or for the locomotion so the human beings use their <coughs> only hind limbs or legs to move now aquatic animals i have explained you aquatic animals like fishes move with the help of the fins frogs move with the help of their webbed feet penguins and seals uh, use their flippers to move so these also i have explained and the birds are having the wings they have a strong wings and these wings are actually attaches to their muscles uh, breast muscles and they are very strong uh, wings and their bones are hollow so these all make a uh, bird to take flight long distances flight okay and few and uh, a few birds are there who are very heavy those birds actually cannot take the flight they walk on their feet now they have heavy body and they have weak uh, weak wings so they and just move on their uh, legs insects insects have actually six legs for the movement of the insects like ant cockroaches bugs crawl on their legs some insects like grasshopper use their legs for hopping some insects like water boatmen swim in the water and legs many insects like butterfly and firefly have wings that help them to fly so insects there are so many kinds of insects few insects uh, use their legs for crawling just like the ants they also move from their feet or from their legs and some other insects like uh, <coughs> there are cockroaches and bugs they also crawl on the land as well as they can use the wings to fly few animals like the uh, few uh, birds uh, few insects are there which are uh, living in the water just like the boatmen Uh, so they are uh, just like the boatmen they they use their they swim in the water with the legs and uh, few other kind of um, few other kind of insects like the grasshopper they hopping from leaves to leaves and they use their legs for hopping okay so there are different kinds of use of the hind limbs and the fore limbs next one is the migration what is migration every year some animals including birds move from one place to another to avoid harsh environmental condition for searching of food uh, reach their breeding ground this is called 
migration so when they feel that they cannot survive in the harsh weather of that place that time they migrate from one place to another place and this type of movement is called migration they mm, sometimes they come for the search of the food sometimes they find out their breeding grounds uh, where they can give the lay eggs or they can give birth to the young ones this is called migration we can say migration is the seasonal mass movement of the animal to move from to favorable environment that means uh, there are so many examples are given here arctic tern uh, makes the longest migration about 40000 km in the winter from arctic circle to antarctic circle because arctic circle and antarctic circle both are very uh, <coughs> cold regions but in the um, winter season arctic uh, circle is having heavy uh, snowfall and they are all where these are being frozen up so that time they do not get the food they do not get the ha environment becomes so harsh so they have to move from one pole to another pole for their for their survival so how uh, kilometers that means 40000 kilometer they are moving that means a great distance they are covering uh, so their wings are very very strong to take such a distance and the next one if we we'll see siberian crane the siberian crane also uh, came from in the winters you can see in the zoo and the other uh, other places in the north northern area you can see the siberian crane ca they come from the north pole and the <coughs> they come india uh, in winter to breed that means uh, they feel uh, better environmental conditions in india and uh, some ancient country they go there and they make the uh, they get the breeding places and they give the eggs in in the winter in the india and the other some other places where they get the suitable and comfortable conditions okay this is migration and fish like salmon live in the sea water now salmon travel long distance to reach the fresh water river to lay eggs salmon are actually habituated their habitat is a salty water isn't it so they live in the sea but for breeding time they just only for the breeding time they come to the river in the fresh water lake or the river to lay their eggs so they also come to the fresh water Uh, to lay eggs and they have to cover the long distances to cover the whole sea route and come to the river and only for the breeding they come to the uh, river they lay eggs and then they return back to the sea so it's a long distance they cover for their breeding uh, breeding ground okay some insects like locust monarch butterfly also migrate from long distances monarch uh, monarch butterfly migrate from canada to mexico during winter and come back come back in the summer so these all animals like um, locust and monarch they also uh, take a long way they are very small insects but even they uh, cover a long distance uh, they migrate from canada to uh, <coughs> mexico and then again in the winter they uh, in the winter they uh, <coughs> they come from migrate from canada to monarch during the winter and then in the summer when the summer in the canada again these butterflies and these insects uh, get back to their original place so this is called the migration for favorable condition for search of food for breeding grounds when the animals and insects or birds are migrating and going from one place to another this type of movement or the mass movement of the animal is called migration okay so we will um, just once we will read this you do understand all the things and in the uh, next class i will take all the question answers from this chapter so do you know it is given here reindeer migrate the longest distance on the land so reindeer is actually they are uh, they are used in the sledges you know that so the reindeer is also migrating from uh, they are also migrating from the mountainous region to the lower regions 
in the winters so it is a longest distance they also cover just like um, few animals are there which are few birds or animals are there which are taking the long distance for the migration so you should know what are the reasons for their migration okay so i'll ask you the questions in my next uh, class i'll ask the question related to this uh, migration and the movement of the animals okay that's all for the day have a nice day and go through the subject matter next day we will write the question answers thank you